hello from Incheon. Sadly, we are leaving Korea today, but we've saved time for one last adventure. We've come out to nearby the airport to explore both Incheon and Songdo. We'll be visiting Chinatown, the Fairy Tale Village, Woli Do Ki, Songdo Central Park, and then finishing up here at the brand new Inspire Resort where there is some big LED production on the ceiling. By the way, in case you're new here, I'm Steph, and along with my husband Pete and our four-year-old son Hayes, we've spent the last month traveling all around Korea. If you've missed those videos, feel free to check them out. I'll leave a playlist somewhere here. But for now, let's go back to where we started in Songdo. Okay, let's put 24 hours on the clock. It's actually a little bit less than 24 hours because when we arrived at our hotel, I realized I had booked it for tomorrow, which is a mistake that I haven't yet made, shockingly. Like, I wasn't even disappointed. I was just like, oh, this happened, finally. Anyway, we got that all settled. They had space. And now we're in Songdo. So that's, there's a big park I think we're supposed to see. I think it's that way. Central Park, right this way. 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 Oh, Daddy, what is this? This is really nice. I don't know. Do you know what it's called? What? The tribal. What's the tribal? Great question. This is Songdo Central Park. Songdo itself is a place a lot of people in our YouTube comments, the first and second trips to Korea, recommended because it's this like brand new city. It was built between 20. 2004 and 2015 uh, because of its proximity to Incheon International Airport, which I learned 25% of the world's population is within three and a half hours of Incheon Airport. There's your fun fact of the day. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be this like hyper modern technological new city uh, with like 60 to 80,000 residents, I believe, and attracting a lot of like foreign businesses. I'm not an expert. It certainly is futuristic. I was just saying to Pete though, as we cross the street, if I was building like a new amazing city, I wouldn't have like eight lanes of car traffic. But I think there's probably some really nice greenery and stuff inside this park. This is a, this is the tribal. I don't know what the tribal is, but this is it. This is why I've been sneezing so much. Watch this. It's a lovely park. It's definitely Hayes approved. Um, something I didn't mention, Songdo is about 60 kilometers from Seoul. So we took a bus and a metro to get here. And it's also, this is something I'm confused on. Is it part of Incheon or is it an extension of Incheon? We're gonna go to Incheon for lunch. We're gonna explore that too. Um, but yeah, it's only, I think it's only about six square kilometers. And I think I said that 60 to 80,000 people live here. So it's a quite fascinating thing. It's also the largest private development in the world. Why are people camping here? That's so weird. It's not weird, it's just how they picnic. We're gonna come back to Songdo later this afternoon, but right now we're headed to Incheon Chinatown because somehow we've spent nearly four months of our lives in Korea, but we've never had jajangmyeon. Welcome to Chinatown. We're not the only ones with this uh, idea of coming to this very famous restaurant. We're number 97 and they're on 63 right now. So there's a place called the Fairytale Village, just 590 meters that way. I think we're gonna swap the order of events and then we'll come back to Chinatown. So I'm just reading about Songwoldong and I'm learning that I think this is like the same as, what are they called? The like moon villages or whatever? Where they saved the old houses and architecture by like painting them. There's a lot of those all around Korea. The famous one in Busan, there's a few in Seoul. We've been to, I feel like Tongyong, we've been to lots of those. I think this is the same concept. When the port opened in 1883, many foreigners came for settlement, turned into a rich village, but then young people were moving out 
there was a period of stagnation and as such there was a renovation project that somehow resulted in whatever this is. You got me, Daddy. Mommy, it's it's Daddy. so interesting how different cultures have different different ways to regenerate. I love these to me sort of random little villages. What? There's a playground. Is that a free playground? Yeah. Can I go can I can I go? This video that you're watching is the culmination of some of the most fast-paced travel we've done, moving every two to three days for the last two months. And while we are unbelievably grateful for these opportunities, I'm not gonna lie, the lack of stability in our lives can make us a bit anxious and stressed about the future. And of course, while every situation is unique, it is not uncommon to experience stress and anxiety, especially when facing uncertainty. I've personally benefited from therapy, and if you're feeling overwhelmed, it might be worthwhile to consider professional help, which is where BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video, comes in. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. You just go to their website, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will connect you with a professional who has years of experience and is right for you. The best part is you can do it all from your phone or computer via phone call, video chat, or messaging, however you feel most comfortable. BetterHelp can connect you to a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com backslash Steph and Pete or choose Steph and Pete at sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. Mm. 93. Well timed. So we've only got to wait well a few timed. more. Oh, that's so great. So while we wait, uh, this is Incheon Chinatown. It's the only official Chinatown in all of Korea. Incheon is a port, and this was founded in the late 1800s, almost 100 years old. Uh, and there's an entire cuisine born from the Chinese migrant workers, Korean Chinese, which is not Chinese Chinese, it's, it's, it's its own thing. And the most famous dish is called jajangmyeon. I think it's mostly delivery, but it's very, very popular. And when I tell people that we have never tried it, they're like, how did that happen? But it became so long that we hadn't tried it that eventually we knew we were coming here, but it was born here in Incheon, the Incheon port. And I'm excited to finally have it. <laughs> Debuting the, uh, the new hairstyle. <laughs> did you notice? That. Yeah, this is thanks to all of the comments of people telling me that I'm going bold. I just went. Zzz, it's gone. It has arrived, and this is Buni Jajamyeon, but it's like a kind that comes separately. It's like a black bean sauce, I think, with pork. And the Korean version differs from the Chinese version that was inspired by, in that I think it's like a little bit sweeter, thicker maybe. I've never had it. It's good. It's definitely good. I also don't feel like I've missed out necessarily by not having had it for so long, but it's definitely tasty. I don't know how to describe it, but it's less flavorful than I expected. Mm. It's not bad. It's like, not bad. And, and we're, we're eating a lovely meal here in Fairytale um, Village. And, and we, I think we learned it before, I don't know. And let me try to you know. Hayes, what do you want to do next? I'm going to get a tangulo. I never get a tangulo. I always just have a bite of Hayes's. But he picks grape this time. I wanted a strawberry. This is the, I'm sorry, this is the worst one I've ever had. They had them in the refrigerator, which I thought, like, oh, that makes sense. Look. We have frozen strawberry. 
It's 4,000 won. I like mine frozen. You do? This is Inchon Art Platform, and it's an area of the port with a lot of historical buildings from the 1930s and 40s that they've preserved by turning them into art galleries. I believe there's a concert happening soon. Uh, it's a lovely little area. Quite a few of them are closed, but I would definitely recommend it as an easy add-on to visiting Chinatown because it's like a five-minute walk from where we just were. Welcome to Walnido Key and Broadwalk, which is kind of like a concrete walk. Boardwalk, but it's a concrete walk. Let's go check it out. There's a really famous theme park here, which we're probably not going to go to, but we're going to go and have a look at it. I did want to share that the seagulls here are in really good shape. They're like very athletic despite being like fed so many potato chips by people here in Korea. Compared to like English seagulls, these guys are, maybe the diet is good. This truly is the Coney Island of Korea, right? Not that, it's like about the same sort of distance from, that like you travel from New York to a Coney Island, right? From like the center of Seoul out here. Yeah. Very, very similar vibes. So we just stumbled upon this ride that I've since read about called the Wolmito, where we are, Disco Pang Pang. Uh, and it's a Tagata style ride. That means nothing to me. But there's like an entire crowd of people watching. There's people filming it. I don't know if that was the official one. The official one like has a YouTube channel. But it's basically this like circular thing that you sit on with no seat belts or anything. And they bounce you around and you try not to fall off. But there's also like a commentator that obviously we didn't understand with the whole audience. And I guess it's notorious, he's notorious for trying to like spark romance and like get people to like fall on each other. It was the whole thing and unlike anything I've ever seen, I think that kind of ride from what I read is not allowed in America. If you fall the wrong way, it would really hurt. Uh, but I've never been to an amusement park with like an entire, audience like on benches watching the amusement rides. Come on, let's go and have a go, let's have a go, let's have a go. I already found love. I've already talked a lot about seagulls, but this is crazy. We do everything in the UK to say to people, don't feed the seagulls, don't do anything, don't touch them, whatever. Here, they're, they, they're doing a loop. They're just like on a loop, getting potato chips. Getting some deja vu. We're back in Songdo, back in Central Park. We're gonna go get some dinner. Have you seen those floating carriages over there? That is really unnecessary, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> it's an odd choice. It's just said, let me guess, they're on a line and they're all just going around the same way, around the lake. <laughs> Smart kid. Now we're in central Songdo and I don't know that I have been anywhere that feels more American than this. I feel like a lot of Korean cities sort of have similarities with America and that the buildings are quite new. Um, there's a lot of cars, but this, I don't know, something about it. We just walked by like a bar with the windows open. It felt like it could be a New York street corner. This certainly reminds me of New York. We're having Korean barbecue for our last meal, which I know is probably cliche, but we love it. And the very first time we were in Seoul, we spent a month here, 
and we actually barely ate it because the first night we got in late and we went to the first place we saw which was across from our Airbnb and it was like really expensive beef and then the next time we went out to get it we went to this place that was Jeju black pork we didn't realize that it was also really expensive so we just thought Korean barbecue is really expensive obviously it's delicious when it's expensive but I also don't mind the like cheap and cheerful places so it's taken us literal months spent here to realize that we can have Korean barbecue and not spend a fortune so this is our last meal some Korean barbecue and some Joanjan Jjigae and obviously cast so I'll miss very much Good morning. We fly out in just a few hours, which is so sad. Um, but right now we are at the Inspire Resort. Our new friends Jill and Peter told us about this the other night. I think it just opened a few months ago and it's famous. For, it's like a casino, arena. It's. I feel like I've been transported to Las Vegas. We found it. And it's, it's famous for this, which is called, like, I mean, it's probably famous for a lot. But it has this thing called Aurora Street, which every half hour, and it's like seven minutes till noon, has this like LED projection thing. It's very close to the airport, so we figured we'd sneak in a stop to check this place out. Short and sweet. It was pretty cool. Should we wait 30 minutes for the next one? No. I think it's different. No, it's not us. Well, we've made it to the airport. I'm feeling a little bit sad. This month has been such a blur. We have had so many incredible experiences all across this country, including the things we did in the last couple of days in Incheon and Songdo. And I just feel really grateful and really grateful that we have been filming YouTube videos because I honestly can't even remember what we've done. When this is being filmed, I haven't even started editing them yet, so I can't wait to look back on it and remember <laughs> just how much we've done in the last few weeks. If you've made it this far, we really appreciate it. And if you've been following along for the whole series, we really, really appreciate it. Uh, and we'll have a lot more cool videos to come. And I am sure we will be in Korea again. In fact, if I haven't already mentioned it in some other videos, we're discussing a family trip tour with Jay next spring, which would be incredible. And once again, a huge, huge thank you to the Korea Tourism Organization for partnering with us on this series. We couldn't have done it without them. And we just, our love for Korea grows and grows. See you next time. And remember, you can watch us in other countries too. <laughs>